This is a diagram of the female reproductive system. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens after sexual intercourse to produce a baby and how that baby develops within the uterus. Once a month, an egg is released from either of the ovaries. Tiny hairs on the surface of cells called cilia move the egg along the fallopian tube. During sexual intercourse, the man ejaculates and releases millions of sperm into the vagina. The sperm swim up through the cervix, into the uterus and into the fallopian tubes. And of course, because an egg has only been released out of one ovary, some of the sperm will go into a fallopian tube that doesn't contain an egg. However, some of the sperm will go in the correct fallopian tube that happens to contain the egg that has been released that month. Only one sperm can penetrate the egg. Fertilisation happens when the nuclei of the sperm and the egg fuse. If you remember, the nucleus contains the genetic information. So at this point, the genetic information from the sperm, from the father, and from the egg, from the mother, fuse together to combine to form the genetic information for the baby. Ciliated cells move the fertilised cell along the fallopian tube and into the uterus. The fertilised cell attaches to the uterus wall. This is called implantation. That single fertilised cell divides again and again and again to produce a baby. Some of the cells at the very beginning of the division will go on to produce the placenta that attaches to the uterus wall. The umbilical cord grows, which connects the fetus, or the young baby, to the placenta. The fetus receives oxygen and nutrients from its mother's blood, and all of this happens because of the connection at the placenta. There is a danger, however, that chemicals, viruses and drugs can also be passed from mother to baby. This is why mothers are advised to not eat certain foods, to not smoke and to not drink alcohol during pregnancy. The baby develops inside the mother for 40 weeks, surrounded by amniotic fluid to protect the baby. During birth, the cervix relaxes and the entrance to the uterus widens. Muscles in the uterus wall contract to push the baby through the vagina. The umbilical cord is cut and the mother pushes out the placenta too. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.